All right, if you have successfully installed Update 2.0, guess what? Update 2.01 is available. And guess what? If you've installed Update 2.0, you can do it wirelessly. In fact, if your machine is set to auto download, it'll probably do it for you. But if you're like me and you can't wait and you wanna do it now, I'll show you how, okay? Here we go. Okay, if your machine's been on at all today, September 1st, you might notice in the upper left-hand corner, you have this, a little exclamation mark. Now, in order to get this, you have to have software update 2.0 installed on your machine, and you have to have enabled the auto download. You can check this by going into the settings area and going to page 12. On page 12, if you have the auto download enabled and the latest update of 2.0 on your machine, it will have automatically gone and downloaded the newest update. If you don't have the exclamation mark yet and you wanna get the update downloaded wirelessly, touch this load button. It won't be grayed out on your machines. It'll be able to be touched. If you touch it, the machine will automatically start downloading the 2.01 update. And now you just have to wait. It took maybe six or eight minutes for it to download. I'll come back as soon as it's downloaded. Okay, here we are. The update is done downloading, but now I have to install it. So we have to do what it says. We're gonna turn the power off, we're gonna hold the automatic threading button and we're gonna turn the machine on again. When I do that, the machine turns on into update mode. This time now, no more USB sticks. This time I go for the Wi-Fi symbol. See it right there? Just touch it. And just like that, here comes the word load. Touch it. And that's it. You are performing your first wireless update to your Solaris. How easy was that? Just wait for it to count to 100, and it took a little bit of time. Yeah, there's some different numbers scroll around over here. It hangs at about 16% for a little bit, so it took some minutes, so just let it do its thing. And that's it. You've done your first wireless update. Wasn't that easy? Now, I put this in the update video that I did a little bit ago, but not everybody's gonna watch that because they've already done the update. There is still a little quirk with the W plus button and embroidery on the machine. So I thought I'd use this video to show you that one more time, just in case you didn't see it in the other one. Ready? If you have an embroidery design selected and you're already at the screen where you're ready to embroider, we do have a button called W+. And when you touch that button, it turns on the projector and it shows you either a crosshair, a dot, whatever you've set the machine up to show you. Mine is set to show you a little laser beam dot. Can you see that little tiny red dot there? There's a video in the files section of our Solaris group that talks all about the W foot, W plus button and what it does. But here's the quirk. Right now, the W plus button doesn't seem to know how to turn itself off. So if you touch uh, specifically the needle minus plus button down here, the W plus button can't turn itself off and the machine doesn't know what to do. And so it reboots itself. So before you touch one of the other features down here, turn the W plus button off. You don't do that by touching the button on the screen. You turn it off by touching the presser foot button here. That turns the W plus button off. Now you can pick any of the other functions down here that you want, like going into needle minus plus. You can do anything you want. You can even turn the W plus button back on again here and it will turn itself back on, but you need to turn it off manually before you touch something else, or again, the machine will reboot. So remember, turning it off is this button. So the W plus button on the screen turns it on, the presser foot button turns it off, and you need to do that uh, for right now 
there, there's a patch coming, a fix coming. You need to do that right now, uh, otherwise your machine will reboot on you. Uh, I would offer that instead of using the W plus button when you're in somewhere like this, try the needle camera button. If you touch that, it actually shows you a live action picture on the screen. So you can see right where your needle's gonna come down on the screen. Maybe use that one instead for right now. Okay, that's it. That's all for today on updating and W plus buttons and Wi-Fi and formatting USB drives. That's all I got. I hope that helps get your machines updated. Thanks and happy stitching. Bye.